So let us see how to create company code in SAP. So today we are going to learn how to create company code and how to create company. Then how to assign company code to company. So let's start. So we start with SPRO transaction code. Press enter and then click on SAP reference IMG. From here go to enterprise structure. Then expand definition, then expand financial accounting and here we have option to define the company. Company is nothing but group of companies in SAP and then we have option to edit, copy, delete and check company code. So company code is basically a legal entity wherein we record all the business transactions. Day to day business transactions we prepare the financial statements like balance sheet, p and trial balance, all these financial reports we prepare based on the company code. So this is the mandatory legal entity we need to create in SAP before we start doing any kind of business transactions. So let's click on this IMG activity. Here in this activity dialog box we have two options. The first one is copy delete check company code the second one is edit company code data so basically what happens in the first option we use if we have already one company code configured and with that reference of that company code if you want to create a new company code in that case we will be using the first option mostly this is used in a rollout project but if you are doing fresh implementation then we cannot use this option. So we are just left with the second option which is called the edit company code data. Let's click on here. Then system brings to this screen wherein we can see already so many company codes are created. Since this is a test environment so we can see so many company codes created. In case the real time uh, project you will not find any company code created here you are the one who is going to create the company code first time so here we won't find the any list of the company codes so we need to click on create new entries then give the four digit code for your company code then name of the company code So this is the code V001 I have given for my company code Volvo India. Then give the city. Okay, Bangalore. Here we need to give country. So for India the code is IN. And then currency, this is called the company code currency in which your company would be preparing all the reports in the currency. So for India, this would be INR currency. Okay, and then we have the language, business language to record all kind of data and to prepare all the reports. So we will be using English as the language. And INR is, this is called our company code currency we can say the currency type would be 10 so that we will learn in the coming chapters for now this is the minimum information we need to give here in this screen then click here enter or you can you can hit the enter key on your keyboard okay then basically need to click on the address to fill the detail address of your company code so the title definitely this would be company and the name Volvo India then search term you can give any one short short name address house number street Postal code City Bangalore 
and the country is India. Region is basically state. So if you give 10, 10 means Karnataka. Okay, let me go back here. Right, so 10 means Karnataka. This is the minimum required information we should give. Apart from this, if you want, you can fill the PO box, postal code, the telephone number, mobile numbers. Okay. So as of now, this is not needed for us. So click OK and click on Save. Once you click on Save, again this uh, this screen opens, so you can still continue by clicking on this tick mark. And then system will prompt to create a transport request to save this change in a transport request. Since we have, this is our first activity, so this box here you will find the blank request number. And we are going to create a new transport request for our configuration. So click on create request. Here you give the description. Company code V001. Org structure. Then click on save. Now you can see one number is assigned technically. This is been created by system automatically. And this is the description we have given of this transport request. Click on continue. And we can get a message that data was saved. So this way we have created a company code. Now let us go back and close this uh, this screen. Okay, we have created a company code. Now let us define the company, which is group of companies. Okay, here also same scene. We can see so many entries are already created because this is a test system. So other participants or students, they are practicing. So they have created so many data here. But in case of the real time project, you will not find such already created data. So we want to create the new entries. So click on new entries. Okay, so the code for the company is six digit right but minimum you can give one maximum you can give six digits so let me give one code it's called volvo volvo group of companies and here also same thing you can give address City Bangalore, country India, language is English. Now here also we have one field for currency and this currency field is known as global currency, right? So we are going to maintain this currency also INR. But this field, this is called the global company, uh, global currency, basically. So those we will learn in the coming chapters, the cur currency chapter, we will learn in details. What are the currency types, which kind of currency types uh, can be used for what purpose, how many currencies we can use in a company code that we will learn later. So for now, just uh, understand this much that this currency, which we give here, when we define a company, this is called the global currency. Okay, or the global currency type. And the currency which we gave at the time of defining company code, that currency is called the company code currency. Okay, so let us save this, this change and we can include the same change in the same transport request. If you want to create the new one, you can create the new one. But let us continue with the same transport requests. Click continue. Okay, so we got the message that data was saved. Go back. Now this is the entry we have added. Volvo is the code and 
Volvo Group of Companies is the name of the company. Go back again. Alright, so in the definition path, we have created company code and we have created company. Now let us establish a link between company and company code or we can say we are going to assign company code to company. So expand this menu path, then expand financial accounting menu path. Here we have option to assign company code to company. So execute this IMG activity. Okay, now go to the position and select your company which was V001. Continue. And here we need to assign the company against this company code. So if you remember the company code, I mean the technical 5 digit or 6 digit code you can give here directly. If you don't remember you can search it from here from this drop down list. So let us see. I think this is the one. Volvo group of companies. Double click on this. And click on save. So any change you made in the development system for the configuration the change is going to be saved in a transport request number. So every time you make any change and when you click on save system will prompt to save this change in a transport request. You can use any transport request which is already created by you or if this is not relevant you can create the new transport request from here from this icon. But for us, this is the transport request which we are using for our company code Volvo. So let us choose this one and click on continue. That's all we are done. And we will continue next series of configurations activities. Till then, bye and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.